It's what? 11.04, Wednesday, May 9, 2018. This is whatever, and that's the cell phone. Okay. So, what I wanted to show is that I started working on this uh, CS360 on the 8th, which was yesterday. No, yeah, that's right, the, yesterday. Okay, so I thought it would be easy. So there's that, this end, the top end, bottom, back, screws, there, this, that. This is very important for me because I really needed to know which one was which because it's not terribly well labeled, although it is, but it's hard to reach because it's so tiny. But okay, so anyway, inside. All right, let me go back to that. See that there? That's a broken, tarred up belt. Okay. Um, this takes three belts. Okay, it takes one that goes around here that you can can't see because it's definitely broke. And then what is this? This is just, there's the motor with more tar crud on it, but I took this picture because this little capa coupling capacitor as a ground type thing went to this corner of the board. I still need to solder that back on. And then uh, opening it up, trying to get to remove it. And then there's the, uh, well, there's that thing. And then you take that off, just one screw holds it on. That's the underneath. Uh, there is a secondary belt that you need. It runs that thing, which is your clutch for your take-up spindle running through a jack shaft. It's really hard to explain all that, but so what here? This is just more of the old uh, tar and the old. That was that's the secondary belt right there. It's, it's um, not good. So here I I put in. That's the old secondary belt. So that's um. I put in one just under three inches, works great. There is the old belt. Uh, this is the belt that I ended up putting in here, which is a five inch. Okay. So then, uh, there are the two belts I was going to put in. And as I got into this, let's see here, I did that, did that. That's, that's, okay, that's with the new belt in there, right? And then, then I discovered it had a tape counter. So I went to rebuild the tape counter and see this doesn't show well yeah it does. See all this um, this is the take up spindle this thing right here okay and this has got black tar goo all around it. I'll show that better in the next picture or, or maybe not there but yeah here we go. This okay that's the take up spindle that you need to have working at the correct speed. Now that is driven by this jack shaft, which is this tiny little pinion here, which has got just a plastic on there. It's just, uh, supposed to be all one color. And then this little idler tire, okay, that's a, that, that's a very tiny little idler tire. Well, I had to clean that by removing this screw which takes that little helper handle thing off and then also this screw to remove that and in turn doing so this spring right here it sprung and flew off somewhere and so then I had to take apart the entire mechanism from the backside which I was not on uh, anyway and hard to explain. Well, okay, that was it. So, anyway, the bottom line here is that, okay, I had to take this back panel off, and when I did, some more pieces popped out, and, well, long story short, it, it plays, but it doesn't, it plays, rewinds and fast forwards, but the fast forward to rewind does not hold in place. It works as a cue or review. So, it still works, but, and the other thing is, if you watched my previous video, the handle bits, okay, let me show you that here, I see here. The handle bits, which go to the front, that hold the uh, handle on, Let's see here. These little pieces here are all well broken, and specific to this model only, so there is no way in holy heck that I can get these little plastic pieces put back in to hold the handle. The handle is held in place by a couple of these pins, okay? This little pin, there's two of them. I didn't, anyway, then, 
course, you know, here's the handle. But so this is going to end up working. But the whole purpose of this video here is to show that um, I've got. Okay, now there's a. You can't see it in this video, and I'm not, I didn't take enough pictures of all this, but there is a. Uh, on some of these radios, like on the Sun of Sanyos, there is a panel. Uh, on the front panel of this, actually on the inside back panel, there is a, somehow this panel comes off so you can access this thing here because it lines up perfectly with the hole in the back of the chassis and the front of the chassis. If you could take this panel off, you could stick your screwdriver through and adjust the speed of the cassette. You cannot do that on this model because I can't figure out for the life of me how to get that little panel off from the inside back. So. Uh, what I want to show you here is that I have uh, gotten my happy little, you know, jeweler screwdriver and put it in there and I've got all the know and I'll play that for you a few seconds worth just to give you an idea. Right, so. We can go slow or we can run out fast. There's plenty of, uh, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of room for improvement in the speed of this but I just wanted to show you that if you can hear that and um, now I'm just going to try and put this whole thing back together. I've been having way too much fun doing this because like I said when that little spring sprung uh, when that little spring sprung it was the hardest thing in the world to first I had, well, I had to I had to, uh, let's see here mm. um, well, I had to take this panel off right here. And this panel here was more than I was, wait. This panel here was more than I was willing to take apart. I took it apart, put it back together. It's not going to work. I mean, anyway, that's, that's all I know. So I, I <laughs> and uh, luckily for me that I wanted to, um, because I uh, changed the counter belt, I also discovered that the, that's what I was trying to say. I know. Okay, here let me hold this back, handheld here. Let me go back to that, because, yeah, this right here, who the heck, I don't know. Um, all right, this right here, this spring, okay, this is very important because this holds this in tension with the jack shaft, which is um, driven by the secondary belt on the back side, okay. And it direct drives this. And this one here turns that, which then turns this, which then keeps the proper tension on your uh, take up reel. If this spring is not there, then this won't ever hold any tension. And because this was uh, gooed up with the disintegrating counter belt, this wasn't turning at the proper speed or it was very loose, if you will, not turning very well. So I had to tear it apart, clean this all up, and replace the uh, counter belt, clean this all up by taking it apart. Too much fun. I challenge anybody to get a Iowa 360 and rebuild it, okay? Now, like I said, this will... I'm only used to playing cassettes. I don't care if it, the radio works or not. The radio works fine, but uh, I'm interested in just playing cassettes. This has a very good sounding cassette deck in here. It's a pretty high end uh, thing, but when I get it back together, it's going to have it'll have the handle, but it won't be hold on to nothing. And um, the uh, the cassette deck will play, which is my ultimate goal. And we probably do the line in on here if we wanted to, but I don't care about that. I just interested in playing my cassettes. Not recording, just playing. But for those of you that want to play your input stuff through here, you can do so on that. Uh, it has a very good sounding speaker set. Even though there's no tweeters, uh, it sounds very good for what it is. Um, I don't know what more I can say. It's just good day, but bye. Hope you enjoyed and understand all the stuff I've gone through to repair this unit. So good day, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed. Too much fun.
Bye-bye.